unknown causes of death. Young adult death syndrome, I think it's called now. We don't know what's happening. Or you bloody murders you. Of course you know what's happening. But to admit, to admit for them that this is related to the remedy would mean that they will have to admit that they have blood on their hands. And you have to understand that for a human being to admit I have committed such a atrocious act is like saying by the Gestapo and the SS and the Nazis before, I'm a bloody murderer and I have wiped out 25 million human beings by obeying orders, by just following orders. And a human nature is fascinating actually because people prefer to live in a denial. They will be denying the facts, they will be denying the truth in order to protect themselves and to finally bow and admit I was wrong. I can live with a murderer that repents and comes back to God and says, I've done wrong. God, I don't know what else to do, but your blood is, is good enough to wash me. I, I can accept that. But a bloody liar, a bloody denier, and a murderer that keeps murdering, there is no hope for those people. Only hell. The Calgary police officers took the money. The Alberta's politicians, they took the money. The judges and the doctors, they took the money and did what they were told to do. I don't think there is, there is any lower place in hell for someone that sells another human being for money.